Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Let's Pixel tutorial. So uh, today, I got some different requests for Let's Pixel videos, and I liked a lot of the requests that I got, uh, but I felt like I really needed to finish this character and do an attacking uh, animation for the character. It was requested by um, George Arita. And I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, so I just guessed. But I really like the idea just because I feel like we need to finish up this character. So uh, let's do an attacking animation for him. So as you can see, this is the original one that I had before I animated the running animation. We have the right arm. We have all the different parts separated out. Um, so it's all ready to go. We just need to kind of figure out how we're going to how we're going to do this animation. So, I think first thing I'm going to do is um do image I need to add a little bit more canvas. I thought it was under image, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's under all frames. Enlarge canvas, yeah. All frames, enlarge canvas. I'm just going to do 80 by 80 uh, centered. That should give us just a little bit of extra canvas space. In fact, that's not enough. Uh, I want the attack, the sword attacking to be a little bit exaggerated. So let's do 104 and 104. That should be good. Okay. So let's think about how we want uh, this character to be attacking. The thing with attacking animations is generally uh, they're really quick, like three or four frame animations. And they're not super complicated. So, well, they are complicated. That's a lie. Let's kills him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a little better. Let's see. What's this frames? This should be 10 instead of 60. Um, I'm going to press C to duplicate it. And you can see I'm using graphic scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to select the back arm and I'm going to move it back a little. Rotate it just a little. Out, maybe. Uh, rotate it down, I think. And then I'm going to take the front arm. and rotate it forwards like this um, and take his head move, uh, move it a little bit forwards and down I'm going to take the, his body, let's select it, rotate it just a little bit, lower it down a bit. Let's take the back leg, rotate it a bit. Yeah, that looks good. It's actually pulling it up a little bit. Um, let's take the front leg now. Oops, and rotate it out a little bit. Okay, um, so this looks really jumpy, which it is with the sword, but something that we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the sword layer now. Where is it? Oh, it's in the right arm. It's the front arm layer. And we're gonna switch to the pen 
grab the sword color here and we want to bring it back from here like this. Now what this does Um, let's see. I'm going to want to exaggerate this motion a little bit different. This is going to be the arc pattern of the sword. That doesn't look very good. Let's cut this more direct across like this. switching colors by right clicking okay let's slow down our animation here to the slowest so I actually want to change this sword just a bit. I'm going to give it just a little bit of foreshortening. <laughs> no, let's see. Accidentally coloring blue. You want to be careful not to do that. Make sure and grab the white. I think. I want it needs to be even more let's see so we're completely going to be changing this arm and it's because I want this to be Yeah, this is looking better. So what I'm doing I'm trying to create a sense of, you know, foreshortening so the sword is um it looks way shorter right here.
but I'm rounding off this right here, the hilt. And uh, so you can see there's a few things I've done here that I want to that I want to show you. So I've put the hand way in front of the hilt. You can see it comes clear up like this. You might even put it clear over the hilt like that. Um, we still have it coming out, but I've put the hand clear over. This helps with the illusion of the foreshortening. I've also made sure and art um, made this very circular and have it look like it comes over the hand. So that gives us a sense of this, the hilt of the sword, being in front of the hand as well. And what this does for us is it gives it gives um, a sense that the sword is being pointed away from the camera with foreshortening. And the reason I want to do that is because I, I, there's going to be a lot of motion in this in this next slide. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna copy this. Okay, and we're actually going to do what I like to call uh, well, I don't really have a name for it, but they're kind of, it's like a timing a timing frame where this next frame is literally only here to add just a little bit of timing to it. Um, and what I do is I like very uh, unexaggerated motions for these. So this is going to be a very, very subtle motion. I'm going to move this just a little bit more. I'm going to grab the front leg and move it just, oops, that's the, that is the front leg. Move it just a little bit further back. I'm going to grab the head and move it just, well, head might actually stay the same. No, we can move the head forward. We just have to move the body forward as well. So move both the head and the body forward one. And grab the back arm and move, uh, we're going to rotate it and move it back a little bit further. And then we're going to grab the back leg, and move it just a little bit more forward. So this is just um, an in-between frame, basically. Grab the front arm again, and we're going to get rid of this. Uh, I left like a trail thing on the sword to give a sense of motion, and we're going to get rid of that. Um, So this is like a prep for the next frame because the next frame is going to be big, right? Um, in our next frame, we're going to have some major exaggerated motion and uh, a lot's going to change in the next frame. So this is like just that split second before the next frame. Hopefully this looks good in the end. I'm just kind of winging this here. So now what we want to do is we're going to come back. We're going to copy the front arm from here. And we're going to paste it over this front arm. So delete that and paste over the new front arm. But we're going to rotate this out. like This is going to be clear out like that. Okay. And let's see. And let's smooth this out at least a little bit because that's just horribly ugly. Um, and then this is going to be where the attack frame is. And we're going to grab this. And create an arc that's going to imagine where the sword might have gone. Okay, we're going to fill that in. Um, we need to make this bigger now because we're... So we can see our 
thing there. Um, this isn't a perfect one. It can be tricky to get this arc to fill right. And that's pretty important. Um, we can grab our front arm, or the back arm, sorry, and we can move it kind of back in again. Um, I was just looking at the animation, sorry. I just like stopped talking. Okay, let's move the body forward just, or rotate the body just a little bit more. Um, rotate the head a little bit more. Is that the head? Wow. Oh, it's because the sword goes in front of the head. We might have to erase some of that. Yeah. Um, so go into front arm, um, pen, click on the background. We got to erase just a little bit of that. Go back to our head. Uh, we need to add that in. Now what I would do is I would get this frame right here that we just created, copy this one. Um, we're going to move everything. I wish, I wish I knew how to select multiple layers. There's probably a way, I just don't know how. We're going to move everything over one, just one pixel. So grab everything, move it over one pixel. This is going to be the slide because our character has um, some momentum from this attack. So he's going to slide forward after the attack. That's what we're pretending anyways. But you will definitely want to go to your front arm Oops. Now go to your front arm, do pen, select the white color, and we're going to get rid of our slash now. Hmm, let's see. Let's grab this, make sure that connect. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm on front arm, that's right. Make sure that connects. Make sure this doesn't look horrible, at least. In our frame, I think maybe this on the back, that's the front leg. The front leg could be exaggerated a bit more. What about the back leg? Hmm. 
front leg probably shouldn't be quite that far forward. Oops, that is not the front leg. Front, front leg. Hmm. Well, it's not perfect. Might just have to deal with it. Let's switch back to this frame here. So we're going to have one more frame after this. Um, this is just going to be our comeback frame to make it flow back into where we were before, our original stance. So we're going to grab the front arm first and rotate this uh, back a little bit. Kind of get an in-between frame. Um, we're going to move our front leg forward a little bit. Yeah, we'll probably mess with that. We're going to move the head back and up. Nope, just back one. We're going to move the body back one and make sure and rotate it a little bit so it doesn't look like it's angled quite as much. Then we're going to grab the back leg. We're going to lower it back down. In fact, we should lower the back leg back down in this one just a little bit. Okay, well that's not too bad. So let's uh, magnify this to 800 here. Stretch this out. And see the whole thing and increase our speed to actual speed so this is kind of a lunge forward attack um, and the character doesn't move very much forward in in this inside of the animation because you probably want to do that in the game at least that's how I would do it is I would actually move the character in the game in the lunge section but um, it looks it doesn't look too bad for a lunge type attack if you want more of a standing type attack you can use the same you can use the same technique I use for the sword um, and the motions with it. Huh. This sword should be further forwards than this. Should be one forwards. I think. Uh oh, I got rid of my little preview mi window. I don't remember how to, I don't know how to get that back. Oh, there it is, preview. Okay. Yeah, that looks way better. Still not perfect, but it does look better. So you'd want to go in and clean this up afterwards. And it feels off balanced because of the way the canvas is set up. I'd want the character more to the left on this on this. But you can use the same technique that I used for the sword with the exaggerated um so I got rid of my preview again. I keep forgetting just because it's so big. So you 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 move the sword pretty quick initially. 
So there's a pretty big jump from here to here, but I use this, uh, the blur um, technique to kind of make it look like there's still movement there that can help. And then I do a, a, a timing frame where it just moves just a little bit more on the timing frame. And then I do the big motion again. Boom, that's the fast one, you know. And then I have one more timing frame after that. This is another timing frame where it just moves just a little bit and we get rid of the we get rid of the attack, the blur thing that's there from the sword. And then we have one where he's kind of coming back to the start. So these little teeny tiny timing frames can make a big difference in your animation. Um, so I hope that is helpful to you. This isn't probably the best attacking animation I've ever done, but it doesn't look too bad. Put it on. That's a little too fast, but maybe about this speed. And if you had it in game so it didn't look like he was just floating like this, um, it looked pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe if you have... Um, requests for let's pixel tutorial videos you can put them in the comments I, I'm not gonna do all of them obviously that's too many but um, maybe I'll pick yours you never know and I've got some others that I want to do that other people have suggested so I might do some of those first uh, I you never know so just send me those suggestions I really appreciate them be sure and uh, share this video on Twitter uh, that helps me too when you guys tweet these videos and share them on Facebook or Google Plus or whatever. So um, thank you guys and I will talk to you guys later.